Raider Nation, what's going on? You guys are watching the Raiders Report. And before we get into today's news rumors, I got to give some major love to today's sponsor, Panda Sup. If you're looking to get into better shape, if you want to make sure that you're a healthier, happier dude, all I want you to do is go to pandasups.com. Use code SUPERGREEN to save 35% off on your entire order. So what's going to be coming up here on the Raiders Report? There's some news, some rumors circulating around the next Raiders defensive coordinator. And I actually just got pinged in my ear. The Raiders have also put in a request to interview somebody for their offensive coordinator position. We'll talk about more about that at the end of today's show. I saw an interesting story around a potential Jimmy G, Jimmy G trade. I'm going to talk about that. And then at the also the end of today's show, some Marcus Mariota replacements in free agency. Now, usually I sit up here and I say all these crazy things of why you should subscribe to the Raiders report. If you're a Raiders fan, if you bleed silver and black, if you always say Raider Nation for life, we're the channel for you. There is a reason why we are the number one most watched Raiders show in the entire world. We're built by the nation for the nation. So if you're a Raiders fan, then subscribe. So let's get into the latest here around Patrick Graham, who is a legitimate candidate to be the next Raiders defensive coordinator. There were rumors circulating yesterday on social media. And then today, according to Tom Palacero, the Raiders have put in a request to interview Graham. For some of you wondering, wait a minute, have the Giants accepted that request? Yes, the Giants have accepted the request. Now, he is still the Giants DC. He interviewed for the Vikings and Texans head coaching job. Obviously, did not get Minnesota. He has then pulled out of the Texans head coaching job, now no longer interested. When you talk to a lot of the people inside the Giants organization, they are anticipating Graham to come back. Now, the Giants have done a pretty solid job going out and get head coach Brian Dable. Thought they did a really good job getting Mike Kafka away from the Kansas City Chiefs. He's their new OC. And when you're talking about Graham, he is literally regarded as one of the smartest young defensive minds in the National Football League. He's been an NFL coach since 2009 and started coaching at the college ranks back in 2002. He was with the New England Patriots from 2009 and 2015. So you have some of that Dave Ziegler, some of that Josh McDaniel connection there. Very intelligent coach who, and I don't know about y'all, I didn't get accepted into Yale. I'm sure some of y'all didn't get accepted into Yale. But if you graduate from Yale, guess what? You're a pretty smart dude. And one of the key things that you're seeing a lot of these Raiders coaches going out and doing, they're trying to hire guys who are not only good coaches, but also good teachers, a.k.a. Champ Kelly, definitely somebody to keep in mind. Now, even though McDaniel said that, hey, they might decide to run a 4-3, when you look at Sean Desai, who they brought in, he's more of a 3-4 dude. And now you have Patrick Graham on top of that, who used 3-4 base last year. He definitely mixed in some one and two safety high alignments, which I actually like with Merrick. If they decide to go two safety high and look for them to go ahead and bring in another safety, that would be bad news for Jonathan Abram. They use cover one, cover three. Cover three is what Gus Bradley uses. Cover four coverages and leaned on nickel and dime packages. Now, I know some of y'all lean on dime packages as well, but, uh, but this is a totally different thing because Patrick Graham is a very, very intelligent young guy. So the 42, 43-year-old defensive coordinator who is still technically with the New York Giants, but if the Raiders are one of them, and if they wanted to pull them away from New York, they could do it. Let's just say, would you like the hire if I went live here, let's say tomorrow, Saturday, well, no, tomorrow is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I said, hey, man, the Raiders are hiring Patrick Graham. Would you like it? Type L for like or D for dislike. Personally, man, yeah, obviously you can tell in the excitement of my voice, this would be a slam dunk hire. And even though I've come on the show before and said initially wasn't all that excited about the McDaniels hire, if you can bring in Patrick Graham to be your defensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to like and like and like a little bit more overall of what the Raiders are doing. So with the new year, I'm trying to get into better shape. Back when, I don't know, like 2020, 2019, that was probably my peak of physical fitness. Then I got a girlfriend, then I got a dog, and now I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So what I want to know is, what's your favorite new song? Because I've been going to the gym more often, and I listen to the same stuff over and over again, and it's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. So I'm asking, from the nation, what's your favorite new song? Because I need some new stuff to work out to. Now, if you're also like me and you're trying to get into better shape, what I absolutely love about Panda Subs is they have awesome pre-workout supplements. They have awesome protein. 
but I'm also trying to be a healthier me as well. And that's why I want to give a major shout out to the greens. You can get these greens for 35% off at pandasups.com. Just use code superfoods at checkout. Not only do they just get a whole bunch in stock, they just launched new flavors. If 2020 has taught me anything, it's to try to take a little bit better care of my body. For those of you that don't know what the greens are going to be able to do for you, it's going to help your brain and your joint health. Have you ever woken up in the morning and your knees pop, your knees, uh, your back's like all crippled? I'm like, dude, I'm 28 years old. I feel like I'm my dad at 62. This stuff's going to help. Probiotics is almost like an oil change for your body. You have to continue to make sure that your body is happy and healthy inside. Vitamins and minerals, it's going to give you energy and earth-grown nutrients. So go to pandasups.com. That link is available for you all in the comments and in the description. 35% off with code SUPERFOODS. Raiders trade rumors coming at you here on the Raiders Report from Mitchell Renz. And I told you all this last week, two weeks ago, when the Raiders went out and hired Josh McDaniels. You are going to see a lot of rumors around former Patriots players and Bill Williamson. He went ahead and wrote an article that said, History shows Jimmy G to the Raiders trade isn't completely insane. The rumor right now is that McDaniels and Ziegler, they could potentially want Jimmy Garoppolo because they are not fully committed towards Derek Carr. If you remember, McDaniels at his conference said that he likes Derek. He wants to work with Derek, but did not say whether or not that Carr was going to be the quarterback in the future. They basically said they're going to weigh all the options. If you guys also remember, we're going to hop into that time machine. McDaniels tried to trade for Matt Castle back in 2009. Jay Cutler caught wind of it, and then that's when he ended up getting traded away to the Chicago Bears. Here's what Bill Williamson said in his article. This was all after the Broncos hired McDaniels to coach Cutler, who was 25, coming off a Pro Bowl season in which he threw for 4,526 yards, the third most in the NFL. Coaching Cutler was supposed to be a major draw for McDaniels. He said nice things about Cutler when he was hired, like he did about Card this week. So all I'm saying is, when you go back and you listen to that McDaniels press conference, it sounds eerie to the exact same thing of what McDaniels did with the Raiders this past week. And still, what did he do? Went out and traded for Matt Castle. Now, if the Raiders were to go out and trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, you would owe him $24.2 million. So Jimmy G at $24.2 million, or you decide to keep Carr at 19.9. Now, my job as the Raiders report host is to be able to break down things that I see circulated around the internet. So in terms of would the Raiders go out and trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, I'm going to go ahead and give this one only one no Chuck he had and say that it's not impossible, but it's like a 1% chance of happening. Why? I don't see McDaniels downgrading at the quarterback position. Carr is cheaper than Jimmy, literally about $5 million cheaper, I guess, in terms of math, 4.3, right? McDaniels would also then put himself in a very tough pickle. If you're coming into a team that won 10 games, went to the playoffs for the very first time since 2016 and are still trying to win a playoff game. If you take a step back, and absolutely Jimmy Garoppolo is a step back than Derek Carr from quarterback, so that's why I'm going to give it only one ch no chucky head. But let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's say McDaniels wanted the trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. I would say the only way that this happens is if the scenario is Carr's like, you know what, I want a contract extension. I want X amount of dollars, and McDaniels is like, no. You're going to play on your one-year deal or else you can get the heck out of there. If that's then the case, I would want two first-round picks for Derek Carr. The fact that the Raiders made the playoffs, the fact that D.C. is regarded as close to a top-10 quarterback, I would want two first-round picks. On top of that, I also know the San Francisco 49ers just drafted Trey Lance number three overall. And if you're going to try to sit here and say, I would want Jimmy G., I'm only going to give up a third round pick. Why? Because I actually think that the 49ers could actually cut Garoppolo because they are committed long term towards Trey Lance. Jimmy G even said it himself. He even believes that it was his last game with the 49ers this past week. So for that reason, I'll give up a third round pick for Garoppolo if all those other things I just said about Derek Carr are true about him not wanting to be on the team and basically McDaniels wanting to get rid of him. So here would be my question to all of you then. Let's say the Raiders trade Carr for two first round picks the Raiders gave up a third for Jimmy G do you think that the Raiders are better with Garoppolo and two extra first round picks or do they just stick with Derek Carr do they just stick with all the draft picks that they have but if you think that they're better with Jimmy G and two first round picks I want you to type Y for yes or and for no 
The final part here on today's Raiders report presented by Panda Subs is I saw a really cool article circulating around the internet about some potential Marcus Mariota replacements. And for those of you that don't know, Marcus is a free agent this upcoming season, and I would be relatively surprised if he was decided to be brought back by McDaniels and Ziegler since they don't really have too much connection with them. So what I decided to do here is try to look into my crystal balls and figure out, all right, who could be a potential Mariota replacement in free agency and free agency only. So here are the five players that I think, and I rank them based on what I personally think would be going through McDaniels' mind. I actually think Trubisky is the best free agent quarterback available in terms of age. He looked really good this past year with the Bills. Who knows? Maybe he was just bad because Matt Nagy is a terrible offensive-minded guy. Jacoby Brissett comes in at number two because if you remember a few years ago, Brissett was the backup to Jimmy G, has some connections there with McDaniels. Cam Newton, he was just most recently on the Patriots back in 2020. Teddy Bridgewater, he's more of your safe-style quarterback. Also, I think McDaniels would like it because he played with the Broncos and you get that extra competitive advantage. I don't think Brian Hoare is good anymore, but he knows the McDaniels system. And if you're like, you know what, it's Derek Carr bust, maybe go ahead and bring somebody in like Hoyer who can then help Carr try to figure out yet again another offensive system. So what do you all think there? Who is going to be the Raiders' backup quarterback in 2022? I know it's not going to be Nathan Peterman. I don't believe it's going to be Marcus Mariota, but after seeing some of those names, go ahead, make a prediction of who you think is going to be the Raiders' backup quarterback in 2022. Now, before I go, I was planning on coming on here and giving you guys the latest news and rumors, and right before I started today's show, there was some news that came out around the Raiders' offensive coordinator. So let me read this off. The Raiders have put in a request to interview Browns tight end coach Drew Petzik for their new offensive coordinator job. Now, a major shout out to my producer, Jack, who sent me a few notes while we were doing all this. As a coach, he's been with the Browns from 2020 to the present as the tight ends coach. He was with the Minnesota Vikings in 2019 as their wide receivers coach, an assistant quarterback coach in Minnesota in 2018, assistant wide receivers coach from 2016 to 2017, an offensive assistant in Minnesota from 2014 to 2015, the Cleveland Browns football operations intern in 2013, outside linebackers coach at Yale, kind of interesting little tidbit there from 2012, Boston College grad assistant from 2010 to 2011, and then a volunteer at Harvard in 2008. You're seeing yet again more guys that not only respected coaches, but are also good teachers and very intelligent. That's all the news and rumors I got on for you for today's show. So make sure you never miss any news, rumors going on around Las Vegas. And if there's any breaking news like the Raiders hired a DC or hire an OC this weekend, I'm going to be going live here on the Raiders Report. So turn on those notifications because I don't want you to miss it.